It's lovely to be online and, and get um, a chance to introduce my module to everybody. So the module is um, entitled Innovative Business Development. And to put it in a, a slightly simpler language, basically what we're hoping to achieve with this module is to look at your current business um, model. And by business in this context, we mean um, anything really, an organization, um, an economic system where basically you exchange your services and sometimes goods for a, a, a payment from, from usually your clients or your patients, depending on how you refer to them. So don't view this as specifically that you have to have a classical kind of business as such. Practice uh, is another word for what we will be doing, looking at your practice um, and try to become a little bit more critical of how you practice and, and look at ways how you can maybe improve or invigorate your practice. Um, so um, so that's a, a very, very basic aim of this module. Um, and slightly more detailed, sort of stuff, if you like, three steps uh, process is we will have a look at your practice or your business, um, explore um, the almost the, the DNA of your practice, how exactly how do you um, create, as it's called, referred to, how do you create revenue? And then we will uh, look for perhaps weaknesses or examine what opportunities exist and, and see if you can somehow um, alter what you do to benefit either yourselves or your clients or your, or your, your patients. Or perhaps the society at large, depending whether it's more of a, a, a kind of social enterprise business model. Um, so in terms of the format and the time commitment, it, it's very similar to what um, I think the other modules were like. So there will be 10 weekly e-learning sessions um, and you will be expected to spend approximately five hours of, of um Kind of, of your time to, to learn new material, 10 video conferences and 10 weekly forums as well as additional independent study and we will guide you, we will let you know what um, activities we would like you to do so it, it, we will hand hold so to speak you through all the different uh, weekly um, topics um, because we realise that most people do not have business background so it, it, there won't be much in the way of expected prior knowledge um, if we want or expect you to know something and, and you don't then you will let us know and we will guide you where you can get that information from and maybe um, do some additional um, catch up type of learning. Uh, there will be mostly three teachers, um, myself, so I'm the module leader, uh, Jane uh, who you already know from other modules and Anthony Sigrest, who will join us for uh, two weeks, I think. Um, so a little bit about myself. Um, I'm an acupuncturist. Um, I've been, um, well, I'm not practicing acupuncture, but I've been running a business, a clinic since 1997. So I think it's about 18 years. Um, my first career is um, in accountancy. And as part of that, I had to study um, a lot of um, topics that are very relevant to um, and helpful when I run my own clinic now. So they included things like uh, legal system taxation, uh, micro and macro economy, um, and general um, management skills. Um, so it's um, ironic that actually I will be using my f the skills I gained in my first career, which I decided wasn't for me, and I will be using those skills in um, in, in, to, to hopefully pass on some of, some of those skills to, to other practitioners, fellow colleagues. Um, so we've um, finalised more or less um, the weekly topics. So I'll share this with you. Um, so week one, we will primarily um, look at your current business or current practice. Um, if you're not currently in practice, um, it would be helpful if you could um, look at the information from uh, perhaps um, your practice from a few years ago, maybe when you were practicing, uh, but you will ideally need to have access to um, things like financial statements um, and maybe some demographics of your patients, some information how your patients find you, some marketing material, uh, because we will 
try and map out what we call um, a, a business model canvas, which is essentially like a map of your business or your practice as it is now. Um, and, and we will be asking you to later on present that to your colleagues. So. Um, if you don't have that type of data, please speak to us because um, maybe we can find a way for the business um, um, module to still work for you. But ideally, we would like you to have access to that data. Um, and we will also look um, during this week at maybe your original goals and aspirations that you had when you first started practicing. And we will try and see whether your business model meets those um, original goals and aspirations. And if not, then later on we will see how you can um, change things. Um, week two, um, we will um, briefly um, revisit basic accounting principles. So we will have a look at financial accounting initially. So things like um, profit and loss statements, balance sheets. Um, and see how you can use that information to help you assess how well or how healthy your business is. And then we will look at slightly different type of accounting called management accounting. Um, so these are um, the type of statements that help managers of, of various types of uh, businesses to um, make the right decisions that will help the, decision, uh, the business to progress, to, to stay healthy. Um, and, um, and also these statements help you to assess the viability of any changes that you introduce to your business. So for example, if you have a really good idea, but if it's not financially viable, then it's, it's not going to be um, um, probably the idea that we would advise you to, to, to proceed with. Um, week three, um, we will go into a little bit of more of a um, self-reflective type of um, activities where we'll look at initially at what we call internal drivers for innovation. So these are um, the, the changes um, to your business that maybe are necessitated uh, because of perhaps um, the business model doesn't um, meet your goals any longer or perhaps your income level is not uh, where you want it to be, perhaps you don't have enough patients or clients or you have too many. Perhaps you're suffering from things like burnout or boredom. Maybe you want to introduce some, some something new to your to your practice that will um, excite you again. Uh, and then we will look at external drivers for innovation. So these are essentially either threats or opportunities that are imposed on you by by uh, perhaps um, competitors or new technologies, perhaps changes in taxation and, and legal system. Um, global markets, so these days, depending on what kind of practice you're in, you sometimes no longer have to rely just on your local uh, clientele and you uh, may be able to, 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 to tap into global market and, and build your practice that way. Uh, during week four and five, um, we will look at um, things, how businesses can be innovated. So we will look at different types of innovation and and, um, and that will include things like um, the, the whole business model change or perhaps you will change just some of the processes, perhaps you will change how you market yourself or how you price your services. Um, we will look at something, something called um, disruptive innovation and that's basically where um, people come up with totally new ways of deliver the same service which might put um, other businesses um, sometimes actually out of business might might cause you to have to shut down because you can no longer compete. Um, and during week five, we will look at um, specific uh, business models in healthcare. So um, Jane will be um, teaching that week and she will explore how you can grow your practice or how you can change the model. So perhaps you no longer wish to work on your own and you would like to join or, or set up a multi-practitioner clinic. Perhaps you would like to deliver your services as part of an integrated business model in the UK that would be maybe through NHS um, abroad, perhaps similar sort of um, models. Uh, maybe you no longer want to have a for-profit type of business model. Perhaps you're interested in charitable work. 
or social ent enterprise, or perhaps you have um, a, a big um, goals and aspirations where perhaps you want to um, uh, work through franchise or offer your, your model, business model as a franchise to others. So we'll explore all these different ways how um, you can invigorate, how you can improve your businesses and grow, grow them and expand them. We will then um, look uh, during week six at um, how to plan the changes, how to how to essentially write a business plan, and how and what sort of things you will have to look at, and this will help you with your final assignment, which I will cover in a bit. Um, so uh, Jane will take you through different um, sections of business plan and um, and focus on on how that will help you with your final assignments. Week seven, we will then look at specifically one type of innovation that um, is sometimes perceived to be um, the most um, frightening for all types of businesses, not just healthcare businesses, to um, to tap into. So many practitioners burn out because perhaps they have unrealistic fee schedules or, or they are perhaps not knowledgeable how to set their prices correctly or maybe they change some elements of their business but do not change their pricing um, to reflect those ch changes. So we'll explore um, price innovation as one type of innovation. We will also look at the ethics of different types of pricing structures and the legal aspects of and tax implications. Week eight, we will look at marketing innovation. So either maybe you don't want to change too much in your business, but perhaps you are not quite communicating well enough to potential clients or patients what you have to offer. And you may be the best practitioner in the world, but unless you're able to communicate what you do adequately and and and, and appropriately and, and cost effectively, um, you might not be able to, to help people or help as many people as you can do. Week nine, by this stage, we would expect that you will begin to form some idea of how you might want to change your business or you change your practice. And we will explore some ways how you can assess whether um, it's a feasible idea, whether it will work both financially, economically, whether you have the right resources, where, whether there are um, um, any legal or tax implications that might affect the viability of your proposal. We will look at things like contingency planning. What if things go wrong? What can you do? What can you, how can you plan for that? And how you can future-proof your ideas. So that's where you may choose to erect, as we call them, certain barriers where your, um, your business practice or business model is not, or under less threat from, from external forces. And, and then during week 10, uh, we will um, try and teach you some project management skills, which maybe some of you already have, but it will be a refresher. How you can actually implement those changes, how you can um, monitor your progress and stay on track. So I briefly mentioned assignments. So there will be three assignments um, during week four. Um, you will present to your fellow students very briefly for about five minutes or so uh, just a basic summary of your current business model. Um, this will not be marked, but will, you will receive some feedback. Um, then you will expand on that in self-reflective essay, um, um, and that will be um, due in during week five. And that's basically where you will take what you've presented and, and write a little bit about each section um, where you will critically look at your current business or perhaps the, the, your, your business as it was, say, a year or two ago if you're currently taking a little bit of a break from, from practice. And then the final assignment will be due um, in... Um, during week 10, and that's where you will write a, a 5,000 uh, word business plan where you will describe and analyze and, 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 and present to us how you will um, innovate your, your business model. Um, so that's where you put all of those things that we teach you from week one to nine into this final um, um, assessment. So um, just very quickly, um, 
as I said, not much in the way of prior business knowledge, uh, but if you have just basic understanding of how the businesses are run, some, some a little bit of understanding, at least what profit and loss statement means. But if you haven't got those skills, just let us know and we'll help you. Um, it will be probably a little bit difficult for students um, to do this module if you've never been in practice before because we will rely on some of the data from your practice for you to take part, to discuss, to analyse and write your assignments. Um, and um, just final word, I wanted to say that I know students are um, from, from all over the world and we probably will not be able to um, give you information about all the various different um, tax systems. So we will expect you to do a little bit of your own research about the, the legal structure and tax structure in your country. But we will still present to you the basic principles that will apply probably to most countries. And I just wanted to say that the reading material that we have in the module descriptors, um, that material may change a little bit. So we'll provide you with an updated um, list of what material you will need. So please don't buy anything just yet. And if you have any other questions, you can always contact me. Um, my email is on, on the screen right now. I'm happy to answer whatever questions you may have. Um, I'm hoping it will be a very, very practical and exciting and, and useful model uh, uh, module that you can then use not just now, but maybe even in five, ten years' time when you feel you need to change um, the way that your practice is run.